CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano is in Long Beach, New York, which could be hit hard by Irene later today. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning to you, Betty. Well, you know, most New Yorkers have never seen a hurricane pass over or even near them. So with Irene bearing down, people throughout the region are taking historic precautions. In Long Island's waterfront towns, there's no calm before this storm. People are packing their bags, boarding up windows, and scurrying to stock up on supplies like water that are quickly running out. Because every place I've driven by, the parking lots have been full, so I said, let me get it today because there won't be any tomorrow. Communities all along New York's barrier island are being forced to flee ahead of the storm and its potential 12-foot surges. Long Island was last hit by Hurricane Gloria in 1985, but it's a repeat of the Long Island Express from 1938 that everyone here hopes to avoid. More than 550 people died and thousands lost their homes. Twenty miles away, New York City has never been hit by the big one, but officials want to be ready if Irene races up the Hudson. At noon, the nation's largest transportation system, New York City buses, subways, trains and planes, are all grinding to a halt in anticipation of Irene's arrival. And on Friday, more than 300,000 New York City residents were told to evacuate before Irene barrels into the Big Apple on Sunday. I packed a few things and uh, I, I put it in my bag I just pray to God that everything works out. Hospitals and nursing homes in the storm's projected path were emptied of patients who can only hope they'll be able to go back. Because I have a lot of friends here. I want to come back here. I want the building to be here when I come back. And here in Long Beach, where the waves are already churning behind me, residents have been ordered to evacuate by 5 p.m. And New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has ordered 230 soldiers to Long Island by tonight. Betty? All right, Elaine Quijano, thank you for that.